video and begins our team coverage tonight live from West Bloomfield. Tom? Well, Stephen and Diana, this is not easy video to watch. I saw it just a short time ago. It would appear that Jonathan Rickman, the victim, was trying. These are the surveillance cameras that caught the crime as it went down on Saturday. The cameras are mounted on the home next door to the house where the fight started and ended with one teen dead. It ended up in a young man's life. It's, it's sad. It's, it's, it's a terrible, terrible situation. Bassam Murad is the man who installed them. This house that's in question was broken into about two months ago. And the first thing I told the, the parent was that I felt that it was, his, it was, it was in, with his son's association. And um, I installed the cameras about two months ago. In the video, you can see Jonathan Rickman, the victim, and the suspect come out of the house. Then you can see them stop in front of this black SUV, and a struggle ensues. Jonathan is stabbed. It then appears that the suspect actually gets in the SUV and drives Jonathan to the hospital. The bottom line is, is that, that people should know where their kids are and people should know what's going on in their home. I mean, I can't check on everything that's going on where my child goes, but I have to be responsible in what happens in my home. And Mr. Murad there, who you just heard from, says his real concern is this could have escalated into something much worse. A gunshot could have been fired. He's got four small children in that house, and other people on this block also have young children. Now, as far as Jonathan Rickman is concerned, we've heard witness reports that he was trying to get away when this happened. What I was watching in the video, that is exactly what it appears to have happened. It appears Jonathan was trying to back away from the house. His body language was kind of like this. He was sort of putting his arms up or, or kind of moving his body away from the suspect. He tried to get toward his car, and that is when the stabbing happened. Reporting live in West Bloomfield, I'm Tom Waite, Channel 7 Action News. Back to you. Yeah, Tom, did this fight go on for a while? Was it quick? How long did it last? It was so fast. It, it, it really unfolded. It looked like in just a few seconds from the video. When they came out of the house, it, it's kind of hard because there were a few frames missing, but they kind of came out for a couple seconds. It looked like they, 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 they had some, some contact, and then, as I said, they kind of pulled away. It all unfolded in just a few seconds. The neighbor said he would like to share it, but police and detectives have asked him not to share it with the media. Back to you. Out of the evidence in this case. Thank you very much. Oh, so Tom. very sad.